Here we go. Fabrizio Romano confirms. Barcelona have secured another very high-profile transfer. Vitor Rocky, the main prospect of Brazilian Serie A and Atletico Paranaense, will come to Catalonia on January 2024. Yes, we're aware of all Barcelona's financial struggles, though the club have agreed all the details with La Liga in order to register the Brazilian prodigy for the second half of the season. Rocky is expected to pan a long-term deal with an astronomical 1 billion euros for this clause. But who is he? And why does Barcelona need him anyway? It's time to figure it out together. You are on Inside Football Channel. Let's go. Interestingly enough, Atletico Peronanzi is not Vitor's home club. He made his senior level debut for Cruzeiro, and before that, he trained at the America Mineiro Academy. On October 2021, the team became the second youngest player in the history of Cruzeiro at 16 years, 7 months and 19 days. However, Cruzeiro played only in Serie B back then. While performing for Periquito, Rocky was scoring goals only in the state league. Then he joined Atletico Peranaense for 4.7 million. As of this moment, Furacao are selling him for 35 million plus 10 million bonuses. Perfect display of a profitable deal. Last season, 17-year-old Rocky started playing in Serie A on a regular basis and netted 5 goals. This year, he already has 15 goals and 5 assists in 29 appearances in all tournaments. These are great numbers for an 18-year-old boy! His performance in the South America Youth Championship can be viewed as a showtime. Six goals and one assist in eight appearances, the title of the best scorer and player of the tournament. Not to mention Brazil's triumph there. Everyone started talking about Rocky, everyone wanted to sign him. But guess what, the boy has eventually chosen Barca. The Brazilian talent market is very important to Barcelona, both historically and strategically. But recently, it has been completely dominated by Real Madrid. Benicia Jr., Rodrigo, Andrik, Reina, Barca and Real were keeping tabs on all of them, but their choice was always made in favor of Madrid. Rocky's arrival will be perceived as a signal for the upcoming Brazilian with kids. Blaugrana must make sure that Rocky lives up to expectations, because after the flopped spells of Arthur, Harrison and many other Brazilians, the club may abandon this very promising market vector altogether. Given the hype surrounding Rocky and the club he's heading to, parallels with Neymar are very tempting, but that's actually not the case. They are completely different players. Aside from having the technique, Brazilian players tend to possess. Vitor is very fast and strong physically. Right, he's not the type of Brazilian technician like Neymar or Anthony, who are extremely fragile in action. Just look at these muscles. One can't just push away the kid just like that. Rocky himself can throw anyone around with his massive body. If you compare him with the Brazilian legends in terms of style, Bundesliga icon Ailton may immediately come to mind. As for Barcelona all-time greats, Rocky is most reminiscent of Luis Suarez. The Uruguayan was also an absolute killer in opponent's box, and his work from the deep helped Neymar and Messi do their magic. Bandits also note parallels with Sergio Aguero. Rocky's greatest value lies in his versatility. The 18-year-old Brazilian can be used not only up front, but also on any attacking wings. He is equally good at shooting with both feet, so if Victor is put on the wing, his quick shots to the center followed by a powerful strike have proven to be deadly for opponents. Rocky likes to act from deep, looking for ideal attack and transition options for partners. The way he throws the ball behind defenders is something of a masterpiece. Yes, La Liga football is played in much tighter tactics and the game space is completely different, but right now everything looks like Rocky is able to adapt in Spain very quickly. Moreover, it is impossible not to highlight Victor's work in defense, which most Brazilian footballers in his role sorely lack. All mentioned factors together make Rocky a perfect, modern footballer who is able to progress in each of the thirds and parts of the pitch. Let's cover one more intriguing point, since there are many slots Vitor can be placed in. 
Xavi can make Rocky a center forward. But then the lads will obviously be benched under Lewandowski right at the uh, beginning of his European career and get 15-20 minutes per match. However, Rocky and Robert can complement each other perfectly if Vitra gets his spot on the left and get one from the Dembele Rafinha duo on the right. Therefore, Rocky's arrival could ring a bell for Ansu Fati that it is time to go down in order to save his career. The same goes for Ferran Torres. However, now it seems that Barca sees in Rocky the future replacement of Lewandowski, who will show the elite performance level for at least two or three more years. Last season, the Catalans had very noticeable problems in the attacking line, especially when the legendary Paul could not play for some reason. Rocky is certainly capable of solving these problems, but situationally can take any front position. Barca supporters, give this video a like if you're happy to have Vitor Rocky at your club. Moving on. At the age of 18, a native of a small town, Timoteo, Vitor Rocky will become the most expensive football player in the history of Atletico Paranaense. As of now, the record belongs to Renan Lodi, who joined Atletico Madrid for 21.75 million euros. The top three also includes names who decided to pursue their careers in France. Striker Lucas moved to Rennes for 21.3 million, and Bruno Guimalais ended up at Lyon for 20 million. In total, only six players left the Brazilian league for more money excluding bonuses. Neymar from Santos to Barca for 88 million, Vinicius Jr. from Flamengo and Rodrigo from Santos to Real Madrid for 45 million, Lucas Moura to PSG from Sao Paulo for 40 million, Luis Paqueta from Flamengo to AC Milan for 38.4 million, and Hendrik from Palmeiras to Real Madrid for 37.5 million. Rocky surpassed the footballers such as Gabriel Jesus, Oscar, Rabin. Alexandre Pato, Danielson, Gabi Gol, and etc. A significant role in a transfer of Rocky to Barca was played by Deco, who in fact acted as a mediator between the Catalans and Atletico Perlianzi from the very beginning. Deco had the opportunity to assess Vitor's talent with his own eyes. People from Brazil have almost no doubt that Vitor is capable of doing great things in Europe. For example, here's what his former head coach Luis Felipe Scolari said about Rocky. He's a jewel, spectacular, pure, hard worker, but still developing at 17. He turned pro at 15. Some things to work on. Imagine it in two or three years. Mentally, he's spectacular. Good kid. He'll be world class. Next comes the former sporting director of Internacional, Gustavo Grossi, who generally believes that Rocky will become the new Ronaldo for Barcelona. He's a phenomenon, that's all there is to it. Vitor Rocky is the only footballer who can truly become the new Ronaldo Nazario. He has everything Ronaldo had – speed, technique, finishing ability and a winning character. Man City regular Fernandinho, who plays with Rocky in the same team, is also confident in Barca receiving a huge benefit from the deal. Barca will not be wrong to side Vitor Rocky this summer. Vitor has a brilliant future. I am sure his natural path will be to perform on the international stage and in world football. Vitor Rocky is a gem in our team and we are all very happy to have him with us. Tite did not have time to call Rocky to Brazil, but the young striker's speed was impressed, the former Selecao boss too. Wow, this kid has six gears, he's very fast. He already has the biotype of a mature athlete. A very important role in Rocky's formation as a person was played by his father, Juvenal, who played football at the amateur level but never competed for anything more significant. In the area where Vitor grew up, he got the nickname Tigrinho, as his father was called Tigrao by the fans of the local amateur team. His father was one who instilled in Vitor a love for the number one game. Like millions of Brazilians, Rocky wore a Brazil shirt from childhood, and playing for Seleção was his biggest goal. Thanks to his father, Vitor did not grow up in the Brazilian slums, but in a middle-class neighborhood. Thus, Rocky had no problems with getting an education and learning to play football. 
Rocky, her silliest mother, is a professional cook. That is why one of Vitor's main passions is food, especially when it comes to banana fritas, chicken with mayonnaise, ketchup, and fried bananas. This is his mother's signature dish, which Vitor could eat almost every day as a child. His mother always monitored the future Atletico Paranaense star's nutrition, which explains his excellent physical shape. In addition to his parents, Vitor Rocky has an older brother and sister, but they are not related to football in any way. We also find it important to know that Vitor Rocky's family is very religious. God is very important in the life of the future Barcelona footballer. He tries to go to church every week so that God may help him achieve his dream. And that's what Vitor Rocky is like. A great talent whose dreams come true one after another. And what do you think? Will the Brazilian play in Chavis team? Share your thoughts in the comments below and don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to our channel if you enjoyed the video. Have a nice day everyone!